Good morning, Upper School. Great to be with you here on a Wednesday morning. Hope you all enjoyed your Labor Day weekend. Uh, we do not have a ton of announcements here. I, we ran a, actually, we didn't run a bell. It was just a little test to make sure you were all aware, but I think our bell system is working now, so sorry to throw that monkey wrench your way this morning. Uh, beyond that, things are going pretty well here uh, as we get into these new routines. One thing I will say before I introduce our guest today is that we will begin to lock all the doors after today. So if you have not updated or gotten yourself an ID, please do that. Please do that during a study hall, during a lunch, so that we can have all the outer doors to the classroom buildings locked, which is our normal state here. But for the first week, as we were getting these going, we did not do that, but I would like to be at that point. So by the end of today, that will occur. If you don't have your ID, chances are you'll probably be able to make it into one of those doors with friends, but we really need you to have your IDs on for security's sake. So thank you very much for that. Uh, this morning, there are no faculty announcements, but I am going to hand the camera over to Julie Mocan, who is going to speak with us today about the National Suicide Prevention and Awareness Month. And Julie, thanks for being here. Come on in. In the U.S., there are around 48,000 people who die from suicide every year, 1.4 million suicide attempts every year, and 130 suicides every day. Because of social isolation, economic problems, and uncertainty, a quarter of young adults have contemplated suicide during the COVID-19 pandemic. 45% of adults in the USA have reported that their mental health has been negatively impacted due to worry and stress over COVID. There has been a huge increase in calls to suicide and mental health hotlines in the US. Substance abuse has also greatly increased. We know suicide is preventable. That is where you come in. September is Suicide Prevention Awareness Month. I am here today to raise awareness about suicide prevention. I hope to end the stigma surrounding mental illness and suicide in the Benjamin community and to provide resources to you. Friends can play a crucial role in suicide prevention. 76% of high school students turn to a friend in a time of crisis. Life can be stressful, especially during these very strange times. We know you may be feeling overwhelmed, depressed, scared, hopeless, feeling like you have nowhere to go or no one to turn to. But believe me, you aren't alone. The theme this year for Suicide Prevention Awareness Month is Be the One. If you think someone might be considering suicide, be the one to help them by taking these five steps. Be the one to ask questions about how they're doing. Be the one to be there. Be the one to connect them to resources. Be the one to follow up. And be the one to keep them safe. We need to be there for each other and support each other. If you need any help or resources, please contact me or any of the other peer counselors, Dr. Yates and Dr. Taylor, your advisor, a teacher, your parents, or your friends. We need to reach out to our peers, friends, family members, and ask if there's anything on their mind. Check in with them, spend time with them, support them, cheer for them, empower them. Together, we can be the ones to make a difference. We can be the ones to save a life. We are handing out stickers if anyone would like one to put on your shirt, ID, mask, or backpack throughout the week. Thank you. Thank you very much, Julie. Thank you, peer counselors. Thank you, Dr. Yates and Dr. Taylor. Really important message. And certainly uh, in this time of pandemic and the stress, it sort of is some sometimes high level mostly low level but then continues and, and goes on and we're still trying to figure out where the end is it, it's a it is a stressful time there's no doubt uh, I know that I derive a, a ton of hope from seeing you all arrive on campus each day but at the same time I don't want to be deriving that hope from a group of kids who are totally stressed out and I understand you know life does have its stresses but at the same time please remember the resources we talked about them last week but just as Julie said use your advisors counselors peer counselors just talk to someone reach out and uh, it's amazing what resources this community has and we're incredibly fortunate so thank you again to the peer counselors thanks for a great announcement I hope you'll enjoy the rest of your days you're doing a great job so far glad to have you back here and we will see you on Friday Thanks. Go Bucks.